I mean, it was just 2008, 2010, where there were entire streets that had foreclosure signs. You had millions of people asking for help on their loans to companies that had no interest in helping them. We were being lied to. City mortgage employees continually lied to us over the phone. When I asked them specific questions, they would never answer the questions. My husband had a spinal cord injury, rendering him paralyzed. So Wells Fargo offered us a loan modification. They didn't return phone calls. They provided me misinformation. People were being paid to lie to us, paid to disappear, and they never had any intention of helping us. Several employees from Bank of America were given Target and Best Buy gift cards for foreclosing on homeowners. These were just document bills that would just sign any piece of paper that was necessary in order to convince a judge to let him take the house. All of the documents that were signed by these robots they sit behind me. It's 39,000 of them, and they're all fraudulent. These banks, they were a front. They were a front for criminal enterprise. Our whole regulatory system was a failure when it came to this issue. The jury was kept from seeing my aunt's exculpatory evidence. The evidence that was pro-Barbara got shut out. I heard from a former Chief Justice, you know that the outcome is dependent upon where the judge believes he's been placed in the revenue stream. Who does him the biggest financial favors? So in other words, you're saying, that they're bought off. At the time that I was running, I challenged my opponent not to take money from any banks that got government bailout money. And I did get a call from Washington telling me to be careful because there were a lot of people who got that money who were in my party. Where people can get away with stuff, they will. And the best place to get away with stuff is have a big corporation that's traded on the stock exchange that gives a lot of money to lobbyists and politicians and make it so complicated that nobody can ever figure out what the fuck you did. And you win. If there is an alarm to be sounded in the aftermath of 2008, it is when you have too much wealth and too few hands, the rule of law begins to collapse. All the Americans who are still out of work got low wages, huge student debts, underwater homes. All these problems are a direct result of the financial crash. The failure to rescue the American working and middle class in the Great Recession, that has set us on the trajectory to where we find ourselves today. This is a fight between Main Street and Wall Street, between the big banks and real people. I'm not supposed to win. Borrower is not supposed to win. That is this game, is if you've got the money, you can make the law or you can buy the law. No individual faced any accountability for any of this. I have a new definition for the perfect crime. Perfect crime is a crime that involves everybody. Do you know what the American people would do if those leaders of those banks were indicted? It would send a message loud and clear that the game's over. And we let them off the hook. We let them off the hook. The only way it's gonna change is the same way it was affected, which was millions of people have finally fucking had it.